for my birthday, uh, my coworkers bought me this bacon bowl set. And today we're going to uh, try to see how this works. So let's see what's inside. So we have two bacon bowls. Cook them what looks to be upside down. So we'll put them on the cutting board. So it says to take bacon and cut a couple of slices in half. And wrap them or put them over the top of the little hump. Two slices per bowl. Two. So I've never done this before, so I don't know how this is going to turn out. So I guess you'll be surprised as I am. Then once the two slices are over the over the top, we take one full slice and wrap it all the way around. And if the bacon's a little too long, just keep wrapping it around. Kind of tuck it in there. And go for the second bowl. Wrap it around and around and around. If you like bacon like I do, you're probably going to love this. So, there, now we have two of our bacon bowls made. As you can see, bacon wrapped around, so on and so on. So the directions say you can bake it in the oven for 30 minutes, or you can microwave it for two and a half. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw it in the microwave for two and a half minutes. In the meantime, I'm gonna prep some scrambled eggs, some shredded cheese, and I'm gonna make some little pancake sticks uh, so you can see how I assemble it all when we're done. One bowl at a time, it takes about two minutes. If you do two bowls, it takes about two and a half. So after you get done cooking them in the microwave, you want to bring them over, dump out all of the bacon juice, Set it down. You don't want to dump it in the drain, because if you do, it'll clog it up. Dump the other one, drain it out. As you see, I've already done a few others, just to see how it works. Okay, and I set them on a paper towel so it soaks up just a little bit more of the grease. Um, so pry these off of the little little molds here and as you can see there you go now we have six bacon bowls it smells pretty good I might add that the bacon bowls are a little bit smaller than what I thought they might be but I'm sure they'll still taste good nevertheless so a few things that I prepped in advance. I, I made some scrambled eggs to put in bacon bowls. Some grated cheese to put on top of the eggs. I made some uh, little pancake strips. Well, I thought the bacon bowls would be bigger, so I'll probably have to cut those way down. Um, also, for those of you who really like bacon, Sprinkle bacon bits on top of your bacon bowls. And per special request, Nutella bacon bowls. So, first things first, the assembly. So take a spoon or a fork. We'll take a bacon bowl and we'll put some eggs in it. Okay, fill it way, way up, 
Okay. And then we'll put some cheese on top of it. Okay, there's one. To take the second bacon bowl, and because they're so small, it's difficult to keep the stuff in them. So we'll take our second bacon bowl, and we'll put some eggs in it. A little bit of cheese. And a few more sprinkles of bacon. Just to go a little extreme. Our third bacon ball. We'll throw a few eggs in it. If you can see my dogs walking around, they're smelling this like it's for them, but uh, I've got news for you. It ain't. A few more eggs. A little bit of cheese. And, well, let me cut up one of these. This in half. Little strips. And there we go. Here's a little pancake, bacon, cheese, egg, ball. Pretty good. Let's see, let's do another um, one with just some eggs, some cheese. Let's do a little extra cheese. Okay. One of my daughters suggested I put syrup all over it kind of gross but hey at this point it's not like they're healthy for you anyway so what the heck we'll do one more with egg in it this one's kind of broken on the side I think the bacon kind of shrunk up a little extra so I might have to be kind of creative with this one You know what, since they requested syrup, let's put syrup on it anyways. Who cares, right? We'll just put a little syrup on it. Okay, there's your syrup, bacon bowl with cheese and eggs. That is nasty. And for the last one, uh, because we're not gonna put any eggs in this one, because I don't know how eggs and Nutella would mix, but uh, let's see what happens. Well, Nutella. If you like Nutella and you like bacon, you probably like this. A little bit on the outside. Oh man, this is mm, hella messy, so. <laughs> okay, well. That's, can't get to the bottom of it with my, with my knife, so we're just gonna, we're gonna just do that. And that is the bacon bowl with Nutella on it, and as you can see, that one's just a mess. Uh, hmm, pretty good though. So, last thing I'm gonna do, Wipe off my hands and get a plate. Okay, get a plate out of here. And we have one bacon bowl with egg and cheese, one bacon bowl with egg and cheese, and bacon bits on top, bacon bowl with eggs and cheese, pancakes, another bacon bowl with eggs and just cheese, bacon bowl with eggs, cheese, and maple syrup. And the bacon bowl with the top. And there you have six bacon bowls by request. <laughs>